So, so th this this is crazy. This is crazy, man. This this is crazy. So, like I said before in another video, you have a lot of these black female TikTokers who, when they're bored, they they shit on black men. They shit on black men for being deadbeats allegedly. They they shit on black men for liking white women. They shit on black women. I mean, not black men, not black women, but black men for liking Kevin Samuel. Like this, this chick had a lot, a lot of shit to say about Kevin Samuel. He, wasn't she like the one that was like praising his death and all that shit? She got a lot to say, um, and it, it it's so it's so fucking funny, man. It's so fucking funny seeing this video, and like I said, a lot of these hood rats, you know, these anti-black male um activists, feminists, or whatever, they're latching on to this pro-Palestine hustle because it's a, it's a new cash cow. It, it, it's a new cash cow. Um, it, 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 this might even get more money than than the Black Lives Matter movement. So the, these chicks always use. It's kind of like it, these chicks use this as charity. That's why you. N I never fall for this shit because when it comes to because the thing is, I don't buy it. Your humanity bullshit because this is my problem. You you have this heart for everybody for every race of man even for races of men who did black folks wrong you you fight for people who wouldn't even who wouldn't even respect you even in their uh, in their native country you wouldn't even have rights you wouldn't even be seen as a person you, you they, they will call you by their racial epithet by racial epithet before they even call you by your name and I ain't, I'm not saying that Palestinians is bad. I ain't, I'm just I'm just giving a wide generalization of the Arab community. There's no before you was even putting these watermelon filters on your goddamn videos. You know how many Arabs were were, were following you? And I would have to suspect why were they following when you following you when all you had nothing good to say about black men, and that was like ninety percent of your content. Your, your your content was you putting on this bullshit bonnet and um, talking about how how dare black men judge you for being a single mom and all that shit. You couldn't even be a single mom in the Arab community, especially in the native Arab community. You you wouldn't even you wouldn't even last. You wouldn't even last dealing with other races of men, but yet you're you're claiming that you you got in a bag from these dude these dudes. Couldn't even you couldn't even last being their their wife. But you know let 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 us look at these little these little horse and shoot horse and uh pony show games that these women are playing. Because this this filter is in the a filter creator fund is going to be given to. I'll, I'll replay it, but basically, these if you notice a lot of these TikTokers, they got these uh, these uh, watermelon filters, and supposedly, if you put the filters on, the uh, the Palestinian creator, he gets like five cents per video, so, uh, it, it, and, and this, this is what's crazy, black women will... So <laughs> Black women will support these uh, these other races of men's. Uh, uh, they'll make them rich, but they they won't support you for nothing. Palestinians <laughs> is going to be given to organizations that will help Palestinians. And, and I, I'm I'm kind of that shocked because I've watched so I've seen people react to so many of her videos to where I'm shocked that this woman even has a heart. I'm I'm shocked, but I, I think what what gets a lot of black women to feel sorry about the Palestinians versus uh the reactions to the Ukraine and uh Russia. I I'll, I'll say this because I I, re I remember I should have put that in the other video. I forgot to put in the other video with the um the black chick, the dark skin chick. But I might as well just put it on here. Fuck, I I had I was so ready for that video too, and I forgot to make that point. But you remember it was like last year in like the height 
of the 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 the, uh, the UK the Ukraine invasion when Russia invaded Ukraine. And um, you had you had like YouTubers, black female YouTubers, uh, like Yanni Red and Chrissy talking about like, and and look looking at these Ukrainian men. They're they're evacuating women and children because they shouldn't be at war. And you have volunteer soldiers that weren't even fucking volunteers. These those guys couldn't fucking leave. And I was like, you seen all these decrepit old dudes with guns and shit. Young niggas who, who probably never even touched a rifle in their life. And it was like, it was like, damn, this is a really ragtag army. And, you know, you, you had Chrissy and Yanni talking about being admired about like, oh my God. Look at these, look at these Ukrainian men. They're so manly. And, and black men, you guys disgust me. And you Africans, you disgust me too. Because you expect your women to fight in a war where we should be dandelions and, and we, should, we should be taken care of and we should be, uh, you know, we, 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 should, we should be, our innocence should be protected. How dare us, how dare you guys expect us to fight? You remember they were making that bullshit argument? But you know what happened for them to shut the fuck up? Was when Ukraine was evacuating people and they was like, uh, Africans, I don't give a fuck if you're a woman, you stay behind. <laughs> they didn't have nothing to say about that. Now they were crying about racism. They had all those Africans and um, those, those East Asians crying about, oh my God, I'm, I'm stuck. It's war torn country. Oh my God! And and I can't leave. Yeah, you were, you were praising them about being men, right? Now now all of, a, all of a sudden they 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 don't even recognize your fucking uh, femininity and all that shit. I I, I didn't I didn't see. Uh, actually, I did. You know who I I think I think Chrissy did talk about. I think she made a. Uh, I don't I don't even really watch her shit. But um, I I didn't see Karen. I didn't. See, I always wanted to see Crystal and Karen's reaction to that shit. <laughs> but anyways, let me let me uh forget to a tangent. I'm gonna do y'all one better. Um, my platform is monetized, and any video over a minute is gonna. Jump. I, I I'm actually surprised it's monetized. All that shit talking she do about black men, but shit, how how many how many how many men are are being demonetized for expressing their opinions? But we. <laughs> But I ain't, I'm going to, it's slowly but surely, man. It's slowly and surely. Like, if, if Cynthia G can get demonetized, you know, I, I'm pretty sure all these other baby mom terrorists, they'll probably get, they'll eventually get demonetized too. Income. I'm not going to keep it. I'm also going to donate it. You, you, you capping, right? So let, let, let's just say she makes, she gets 10000 from 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 this from from her support for Palestine and all that shit. Mind you, she said she has nothing good to say about black men. Nothing good to say about black men. Uh, she probably has never in her life met an Arab dude. You know that you know they probably only want to be her friends. She you know they you know never the closest reaction she has with them is through gas stations, talking through a bulletproof window. That, that's the best and only interaction with Arabs. But I, 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 I kind of forgot to mention this. But I think what, what gets a lot of black women, um, unlike the, the Ukraine shit, was that, um, was that, uh, was that, uh, with Israel, they don't give a fuck about women or children, and it I, it, it really did hurt black women's heart seeing children be the casualties of war. That's, I, I'm pretty sure that that's what that's what really what got a lot of a lot of women uh, very invested, you know, in being pro Palestinian. Even though they have no prior interactions with these with these people, 
So the video that I did, like, but you you, you got to be capping if you if you want me to believe that this woman, if she receives, let's just say, ten thousand dollars, that she's gonna throw away that whole ten thousand dollars as a single mom, throw it out away, especially holiday season, because she made this in October, no November. She's gonna throw away that entire ten thousand dollar check to give it to some Palestinian person she never met. You crazy as a motherfucker. At, at best, she, if, at, at her, if she had a bleeding heart, she'd probably give like two thousand of that, sh that two thousand in donations. But she'll probably, but she can claim it in her taxes, and she'll probably get back eight thousand, probably like five thousand or some shit. So she, she'll she'll get it back. Go about boycotting Starbucks made this much, so and it's gonna continue to rise. So I'm like, why not use my platform to just generate more and you know donate it to organizations or you know support businesses that you got gotta love the tenacity them connecting the dots. Hey, this this organization supports Israel. Uh, this organization supports Palestine. You know, let's allocate our money. Granted, I can't say they were doing this when you know, for during uh you know some of the protests. You know, like what that was like what eight years ago. But you know, a a lot of these, especially these black pros, a lot a lot of them fail because, you know, how how do you for for one at least when it comes to um certain places how do you ex like for gifts how do you explain uh, a, a a child who's like eight years old saying that telling him or her that you can't get anything for christmas because me buying you what you want supports a war that you don't even really know anything about so you know again black women's bleeding heart will, it will come to uh uh, a conflict once again like okay who 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 do you want to make happy the, the the kids that you see every day or people you've never even met it's really it's really shocking but it's not surprising to see that black women's loyalty can be bought you know it, it, it can it can be bought and it can be respected in in, in such a manner support Palestine or that are Palestinian businesses so uh are we just gonna sit here and look at each other until this video is a minute and one second she don't even know anything about the culture okay bye y'all I love y'all <laughs> ne ne never met a pal don't know none about the culture but you you notice, but even when black women were supporting Black Lives Matter and doing all that shit, you remember like they were they were doing these these uh, probings. They would go they were going on like old their the victims like old twi twitters and all that shit. And you know they they would find like one thing like oh this guy doesn't they, they were they were throwing away people who didn't even date black women or or like had a, a little small ass opinion from like ten years ago. Oh, I, I just don't find black women attractive. And they would literally, black women would literally throw that cape and be like, oh, we're burning the capes. We're, we're, we're burning the capes. We're not fighting for these ungrateful niggers. We're, we're burning the capes. And it, to me, it's, it's, but with this past, like, you don't even know anything about Palestine. You don't know anything about these people. You, you, you you're just, you, you don't, you, and it's not like you're wrong, but the thing is, how come black men we don't get the respect? We don't get the innate respect. You're calling them, you calling these Palestinian men real men, and then you calling us bitch ass niggas, and we're broke and we, we're poor, and, and, and we're just living off of circumstances, and, and we're un we're unambitious and all that shit. But the the poorness and the poverty. Of other races of men in third world countries, you respect that more than a, than an average nine to five black man. That that don't make no sense. You use this filter, the money that is made because this this filter is in the a filter creator fund is going to be given to Palestinians. It's going to be given to organizations that will help Palestinians. Now I'm gonna do y'all one better. 
um my platform is monetized and any video over crazy i don't even know why rate income i'm not gonna keep it i'm also gonna donate it i so call cap there ain't no way you 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 like two days ago about boycotting starbucks made this much so and it's gonna continue to rise so i'm like why not use my platform to just generate more and you know donate it to organizations or you know support businesses that you know support palestine or that are palestinian businesses so uh I, we just gonna sit here and look at each other until this video is a minute and one second You know, I I think it, I think that if if Palestinian men would would, would pray, pray to they they can probably get these bitches to do a lot more. <laughs> I think they can probably even convince them to sell their own body. <laughs> it, it it it's 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 just crazy to me that black men literally have to do we have to do so much, so much just to get the tiniest amount of respect from black women. We we allegedly have to make so much money and we 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 gotta know how to fuck we we gotta know how to that how to present ourselves and be in the streets we gotta be hard we gotta know we got we gotta you know establish and put fear in other men's heart and soul but you you can respect but that that requires so much and nine times out of ten you gotta be born into it to where you have to be born tall and, and genetically handsome and all that shit a little, a little hairy Arab. Oh, you're, you're giving him money. <laughs> Never met him. Don't even find him attractive. But you have more. You have more respect. Crazy as shit, man. This is just crazy. It's just crazy seeing we're we're supporting Palestinian businesses, but the the black community gives no fucks about black, but black black businesses owned by black men. Don't they don't give a shit. <laughs> They, they they don't name drop you they they don't give you support but you know Palest uh you know a palestinian business give the give the just throw them all, throw throw your money away you you yeah who gives a fuck about black folks being impoverished and all that shit just just throw all your money away to palestine and and, and, and try to get these people safe and it's not like it's wrong it's just that how can we don't get that respect we don't we don't we don't get that bleeding heart but when we're in the dumps we're in trouble we don't get that bleeding heart and what's worse what is worse is that you take advantage of that shit just like those bitches and lesbians from the, the black lives matter movement no one is calling them out from the black community from a black carcass from from all these from all these the rappers none none of these millionaires none of these high status black folks are calling out black lives matter to say hey you promised a safe haven off of the dead bodies of black boys and men and you are living in a mansion a gated mansion to where you promised us a safe haven. You promised us safe spaces. You gave us words and definitions that were supposed to better us. And we didn't get shit. Where we we don't we can't even go we can't even go to the mansion if we wanted to. We we can't even sip we can't even sip a a, a Cartier a little bottle of wine we can't pop nut we can't we can't even go there. And, and, and when when people ask these ask these women about you know what you did with the money, oh uh, uh uh I allocated it to this to this organization I gave it to this organization uh uh uh. uh um, I bought this because I needed a place to to be safe. Uh, 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 because I was getting a lot of death threats. Uh, uh, uh. But nobody wants to ask the hard hitting questions about what did black men get out of this when it was their bodies on the line. You, you, you got. And if it if it ain't black women riding off the bodies of dead black men, they're they're riding on the on the they're they're riding on the misfortune of black men. 
like I said before, they have no problem on when they're bored and ain't got nothing to do. They have no problem making TikTok videos about how you rogue. They, they, these chicks are so are so desperate for attention that they will fake dates. They'll fake dinner dates and blame themselves. They'll blame you for how dare you not pay that two hundred dollar tab. Chicks over here lying about I ate forty eight oysters and shit. But but you will give but you'll give the Palestinian man so much respect. It's this it. And I I don't I don't and the thing is I don't even think these women are bought. I, I don't I don't think these men paid them. I, I think that these females just saw a money grab and they were they were just like you know what. I, I'm a I'm a take in what I can take in. I don't I don't care about what they look or what their point of view is. I'm gonna see how much money I can get out of this, man. Crazy, two hundred k, two hundred k, man. Fucking crazy.